Hey, I'm Ryan with StickDulcimer.com. Today we are gonna go over CCRs, who will stop the rain. A few things to note first, we're gonna go over the chords you need, the structure of the song. We're gonna look at how they work with a one finger approach and then we'll talk about how to do them with the multi-finger chord approach. What will help you is that I have a free cheat sheet on the website, it's a few versions of how to play these different chords that you can just print off and have referenced while you're looking at the video or other videos that I've got. I also have a paid version of that same document. It's 20 pages long though. It has a lot more about what power chords are, how to play them, more versions of chords you can play. And I do put out updates to that, which you will get if you, uh, if you sign up for that particular product. Now, let's get into what we were doing here. First things first, this song is actually recorded in the key of G. So if you have a G tuned instrument, which this Merlin is, uh, if you have one of those, you can just play along with the recording. John Fogarty said, hey, play along with me. And, and here you are, you wanna play along. If you have a pick and stick, a lot of times they're in G as well. If you have a detuned instrument, I'm gonna make a separate video for that so that you can play along with that one. Um, also, if you have a detuned instrument and it's a pick and stick or strum stick style detuned, you can play in the key of G. I figured that one out and I'm feeling pretty good about it. Let's get into where we are here. So the chords you need for this song are actually a little more complex than I was expecting. I was expecting this to be just one, four, five. It's not. There's a six minor and a three minor chord in it, which we will talk about briefly as we go through. The other thing that I noticed is that this song, well, if you're playing by yourself, it won't matter, but if you're playing along with the recording, it's a little bit tricky because there's a few places where they drop a beat, add a beat, um, add an extra chord, it's, it's strange. I'm not gonna dig into too many of those things because uh, you, you just need to listen to the song note where they are. If you just follow what they're doing, you won't have a problem with it. But it caught me off guard and made me think, oh yeah, this is from that era of music when they just kind of did whatever felt good, uh, less regimented than they seem to be these days. So getting into the chords, you need one, four, five, six minor, and three minor. If you don't know what those are, like I said, get the download guide, but they reference the scale tones. So one is, in this case, G, two, uh, sorry, four is C, five is D, six minor is E minor, and then three minor is your B minor chord. So those refer to the chords based around whatever those scale tones are. Uh, so again, those chords going with the names, G, C, D, E minor, and B minor. Let's get into it. So the intro section, and I'll do it with the one finger first, is just the open, or you, know, you can play like this if you're playing a multi-fingered version. That's the G, and then it moves to the E minor, or here. Fifth fret. As long as I remember, the sea has been coming down. Clouds of mystery roaring. C chord, then up to the D chord, then all the way up to that E minor. Boom, 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 bam, bam. And then the second verse. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. This is where it changes. It goes to da, 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 da. So if you're playing with just one finger, it's just barring all the way across that second fret. That is a B minor, or B in the key of G. Da, 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 da. C. Da, 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 da. And the back half of the verse is the same as the first verse was. So the second verse is slightly different than the first verse, which I was not expecting. That only leaves the sort of bridge middle section area. And I'll come back to that uh, in a minute. So we're gonna cover the verse chords for multi-finger now instead of just jumping straight into the other one. So. The way I like to play it is pretty straightforward. I actually don't mind doing the, uh, the, the G major chord, the G chord, just open. I, sometimes I'll play it right here. And we have the, the E minor here. That's where I like to play my E minor most of the time. So we would go ba da dun da dun dun. And then the just C chord on the 
but it goes like this. This is why you need the guy. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Two things to note there. I like doing this. You could do this C chord, you could do this D chord. But I like doing this one here, moving just from the C up to the D, because it's economy of motion, so laziness, which play, pays off, but it also has that bum, bum, sort of like in the root, the way that it moves is exactly how you feel like it should move. Up, dub, and then back to the back to the main note. Now, I will also point out something that the song surprised me about is it goes It goes to that E minor, the 6 minor chord and then subtly, without hardly noticing it, it goes to the G before it ends that whole chorus phrase So then the second verse, I'm just gonna throw throw in that B minor. Because when I play this B minor, I play the C chord a little differently. In this case, I would go. So B minor. Just move up one fret and now you've got your C. Option, just an idea is instead of going down to here, you could go up one more fret, down, 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 down. So you just go, that works. You could also do this barring version, which is a lot of string tension getting up that high. Sometimes the notes get a little out of tune just due to the way that this is structured. So I would still go with. And all those options are things that are covered in the, uh, the, the bigger chord download guide that I have. It uh, goes through why you would pick different chords and far more options there to choose from. So if you're looking for ways to play um, in different styles or if you're looking for different flavors of chords you want to use, please check that out. I think you'd really enjoy it. So what's left is the bridge, uh, which is just this eight bar section right in the middle of the song. They change up the way that they play everything. It's different. It doesn't have any extra lyrics or any uh, guitar solos or anything like that. So you could probably just drop it if you want to, but it, but it also adds a little bit of uh, interest, which is what it's there for. So it's the G chord going up to the C, G. So, and then uh, to the, to the five chord, which is the D. So, two, three, four. And then for the second half of it, it goes to the E minor, C. It's the same rhythm pattern. So, let me run that down again. G, two, So those happen on upbeats. Two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, two, three, four. And if you're watching, I said two, three, four, because there actually is a fifth beat there. I have no idea why. It does not feel like it should, but they added that fifth beat. So it's all right. So you got the D, and that's it. That's the end of the song. That was really all of a sudden abrupt, but if you've made it this far, please go ahead and hit subscribe. Check out the other videos. There's probably a bunch of them that have been popping up around here. Go to the website, uh, email me if you got questions, put questions down in the, uh, in the comments there, because there's a variety of different ways to do this, and I'm very curious what you're finding that you, uh, that you enjoy, that you find is, is good. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I'm Ryan with sticktellsummer.com. Take care.